Well, I've been approached quite by quite a few people in the community about the festival over the last several months because there's been a lot of excitement about it and a lot of people involved. So I've had various people come to me and say, hey, have you heard about the Summer Lights Festival? I said, hey, yes, I have. And uh, I'm really excited about it and just thrilled to be able to participate in quite a few of the venues that are happening throughout the uh, day and evening. A lot of people just volunteering their time because they love what they're doing. They believe in festivals and arts and culture and the importance of bringing all that activity and excitement to our community. So it's, um, and I think it's pretty well the first of its kind that we've really um, taken it to this level. This community loves festivals, loves um, things that are a little bit funky, unique maybe not know what's going to happen you know similar to a buskers carnival and everything you don't know what's going to happen so you want to be there in the moment it's, it's good for the community's mental health because it allows people to gather and to be together and to see people creating something and and helps people just kind of escape from from maybe the things that they're struggling with they can put that aside and and watch a beautiful play and listen to music see art created uh, walk through our city streets and see something of beauty and give them a second to pause and, and look at it and reflect. And we work so hard in the city of Waterloo to create that culture of creativity and, and um, support arts and culture as much as we can as, as a government. For me, having a city that's vibrant and active and there's music and dancing and activities happening all the time and children are, are dancing to music and seniors are tapping their foot and you know, um, culture just covers everybody and we're all equal under, under the culture umbrella.